What's good, family? It's your man, the YB, back once again. Oh my god. Breaking news Floyd Mayweather versus BLM Dej exhibition set for November 13th in Dubai. Man, this guy Floyd. Honestly, BLM Dej is no good at boxing. But I pray someone serves this guy an L. I can't stand him. He's like a cancer on the sport. Fair enough, yeah? At the time, people said Mayweather versus McGregor was a clown show. And it was a clown show, but come on now. that At least it was a number one, a real fight. At least McGregor, at least McTapper ended up getting stopped. And it was a proper fight at the end of the day. These exhibitions are, for me now, infuriating. It's a complete joke. And this guy here is a clown, honestly. Yeah, he sold his uncle out. He sold his babe mums out. He is a pagan, cabal, devil. Simple as that. The guy's a weirdo. And even though the worst thing is, yeah, do you know how bad it is? Do you know how bad it's got to be? When you are number one cabal don. Yeah, you sold out your uncle, you sold out your baby mums, and still, you can't get no girls. <laughs> oh, it's bad. And still, broke-ass Nelly takes your future wifey. Do you know how bad that's got to be? Yeah? The cabal signed off on Floyd, and still, he can't keep his future wifey. That's how you know it's over for Floyd. That's the day Floyd fell in love with money, because he realised, damn. I ain't got no game with females, so I best love something that's inanimate. Yeah? Simple as that. Because he can't, anything that's real, he can't keep down. That's why he loves the money, because the money, the only thing who won't leave his ass. And even that's questionable. People say his broker's a joke. Anyway, let's read, read the article here. I mean, bear in mind, people, he just fought at the weekend against a mother clown who jumped on the floor. I don't know who's who's paying him for these fights. I'm sure, yeah, boxing or sport in general is invo- involved in high-level money laundering. That, for me, is the only explanation. No one's buying these pay-per-views. Do you understand? I understand at the time, yeah, Floyd was a big name. But I'm sorry, I don't believe anyone is buying these shows. I don't believe it. So where's the money coming from? I believe Floyd Mayweather right now, bear in mind as well, we know Al Heyman is one shady dude. Yeah? And we know on the other side of things, the European side, we've got the whole Kinahan organisation. And they're just the ones we know. Yeah? For all we know, there's some other dons. Some Japanese dons. Why do you think Floyd keep fighting in Japan, for example? Yeah? Some next Yakuza dons. 100%. No doubt there's some next Yakuza cats who are sitting back in the cut and running money through these things. Because it's a great way to clean cash. If you've got 100 million cash, yeah. Oh, we're doing a big boxing event and big Floyd Mayweather. We've paid him 100 million. Two twos. You know what I'm saying? One of them ones, in my opinion. Because at no other level does it make sense. No one ain't buying these pay-per-views. I'm not even sure it's on pay-per-view. So what is it about then? No one's coming out to watch Floyd fight some random ass dude. Maybe in the UK, yeah, someone will watch Floyd versus Deji. Because Deji and his brother, LSI, have a big fan base. But apart from that, no one's flying to Dubai to watch Floyd versus some random goober. No one's... I'll tell a lie. There will be some goobers who fly to Dubai to watch Floyd versus Deji. But again, that's because of KSI's eyes call out. When Floyd was fighting all these Yakuza dons, Ain't no one trying to watch that. I couldn't even tell you the guy's name. Floyd didn't even know the guy's name. And that's the point. How does that even make sense? No one knows the guy's name. And yet there's big money flowing through it. Hmm. Suspect. Anyway. Here's the announcement. I am delighted to fight another bum. And to bring this incredible boxing experience to Dubai. May have a noted in official press release. Global Titans will give fans... Oh my god, this guy, man. This guy needs a good slap, honestly. Global Titans 
We will give fans an unrivaled boxing match with a huge undercard. It is an honour to be part of such an iconic event in an iconic city. And I would like to thank the Global Titans team for reaching out to me and giving back so much to the support I love. Giving back so much. What are you talking about, Floyd? You are making a mockery of the sport. Yeah, in fact, you made a mockery whilst you was in the sport, fighting old, washed up, B-level, C-level bums. I say it every time. Floyd fought bums. He fought Burrow. Andre Burrow wouldn't be top 10 today. Floyd fought him. Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero wouldn't be top 10 today. Floyd fought him. Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz wouldn't be top 10 today. Floyd fought him. Okay, Cotto. Cotto was okay in my opinion. He's alright. Yeah. Pacquiao. Old. He alright. Yeah, did Floyd fight a few sprinkles here and there? Okay. But realistically, Floyd never fought a prime athlete at the peak of his career. He fought Pacquiao after 10 Marquez fights. What the f- Do you know what I'm saying? It's one of them ones for me. It's not about who you fought. Even then, even when you look who he fought, he fought mainly bums. But even when he did step up and fought a name, the name was washed already. He never fought any undefeated killers. Particularly not of this generation as well. He he quite nicely slipped off. And even in his own generation. People like Mosley. People like De La Hoya. They were hot. Five years before Floyd fought them. Floyd likes to point out. He came. He became pro in 1996. Yeah. Which means. Look at today. When you turn pro yeah. Really. You should be fighting top, top guys, well within four years, shouldn't you? Let's be real now, people. People don't have 10-year careers and then fight someone good. Floyd went 10 years, 11 years, until he fought De La Hoya. What's that about? Who does that? Who today does that, apart from Tank Davis? No one else does that. Devin Haney, pro for five, five years or whatever. He top, top guy. And he was looking for that a lot earlier as well. Yeah, Tifimo Lopez. A few years as a pro, boom, he on the circuit. And these guys didn't have the amateur background of Floyd either. So Floyd has a huge 10-year amateur background, 15-year amateur background, turns pro, and then don't fight no one until 2007 when they're old and washed up. Or 2008, 2009, fighting Shea Mosley. Why wasn't Floyd fighting these guys 2001, 2002? I'll tell you why. He was too busy fighting bums. That's what he was doing. 100%. Yeah. He's the bum slayer. Floyd is the bum slayer. I'm not even sure. What Hall of Famers. Has, what prime Hall of Famers has Floyd beat? He fought old ass Purnell. Yeah. Floyd dragged Purnell out the grave and fought him. Classic. And I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind Floyd fighting Purnell. If he did what. People are supposed to do in boxing. Yeah. Floyd was happy to take the flag. From the old heads. But then. When it became his turn. And fair enough. Maybe. Is there a chance. Floyd could have beat Errol. Is there a chance. Floyd could have beat Keith Furman. Obviously. I think Floyd probably would have beat Keith Furman. But the problem is. Floyd didn't have this you see. Floyd didn't believe he could do it. Yeah. Floyd shit himself. And fought Burrow. And Guerrero. And D-level dudes. That's what Floyd was doing. Rather than making a truly great legacy. I'm not sure about Errol Spence. But I know. I think Floyd would have whooped. Furman. Even a prime Furman. Floyd versus Kell Brook. These were. At the time yeah. These are all fights that were being talked about. What did Floyd do? Floyd fought the random ass dudes. Because even Maidana. Whatever you say about Maidana yeah. Maidana wasn't. A world champion. He wasn't that Kell Brook, Errol Spence, Keith Furman level. He wasn't. He just wasn't. Floyd hanged around and fought D-level people. And it just so happened, Maidana gave him all he could handle in the first fight. Yeah? 
and here we are now. Rather than saying, you know what, I've robbed the bank, I've scammed the fans, I've made a mockery of the sport, fighting a whole bunch of bums. And even then, the worst thing is, Floyd was the bum slayer, but then he didn't even knock the bums out. Floyd would bore people to tears against sea level fighters. Wow. Do you know who does that? Who does that? He can't even, never mind finished, he can't even rock Guerrero. He can't even rock Berto. People who have been stopped handedly beforehand. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh man, you know, my name's Floyd Mayweather. I'm the magician. You're the magician who can't put no one down. How about that? Yeah, what's magical about that? What's magical about going life and death points with everyone? Clown. And now look what you're doing. Putting on more clown shows. Where did you drag this guy up from? YouTube. It's it's a wrap, honestly. It's a wrap for Floyd. I ain't trying to hear no more from Floyd. Honestly, the quicker this guy... The quicker something happens to this guy, the better. Honestly, it'll be a good day for the game. It'll be a good... The less we hear of this guy, the better for everyone. The guy's a complete clown. A bum-slaying clown at that. And I wouldn't mind, but he, the way he puts himself on such a pedestal... He's an idiot. A proper idiot, I'm sorry. The guy's an idiot. Yeah? Anyway, I ain't trying to talk no more about this situation. I ain't trying to hear no more from Floyd. I'm tired of it, truth be known. And yeah, okay, maybe, I'll give Floyd credit, maybe he fought Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton probably was in the prime of his career. I'll give him, yeah, let me give Floyd some credit. He did fight Hatton, but come on now. Hatton was limited at best. Do you know what I'm saying? For me, it's one of them ones. Hatton was limited at best and Floyd knew it. And that's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence Floyd fought Ricky Hatton in his prime. Because he knew Ricky Hatton was one dimensional. Yeah. Guess what? He didn't know. He didn't know that Shane Mosley was one dimensional. He didn't want a 33 year old Shane Mosley. He wanted a 40 year old Shane Mosley. And when you look back at that. 38 years old is old especially in them days where before the whole sports science thing hadn't taken off yet back in 2008 2009 38 was old it still is old look at Golovkin yeah Golovkin only 30, only 40, 39 or whatever it was he old as a joke and that's now with all the new technology and whatnot anyway let's see how it plays out the guy's a clown 100% 